The problem is, uh, you know, the, the different researchers have developed their own different definitions. And often because of shortage of resources, they relied on secondary data that are gathered, not having social cohesion as a concept in mind. The existing secondary data, so to speak, may not be able to furnish enough uh, data for us to look at the level of cohesion in different countries. There is no common concept and we are still discussing uh, which, what should be considered as social cohesion and we are still discussing dimensions of the concept and we are still struggling <laughs> about indicators. So at least there is a lot of work uh, to be done still. I think it's really interesting coming from the conversations that um, we had during the workshop the past two days um, about what currently is conceptualized as components to social cohesion, which is belonging and trust um, and then cooperation. And I think <clears throat> what is interesting for me is also how you conceptualize those parts that form part of social cohesion. In Africa, for example, belonging might mean something different for different people. Um, whether that means being from a specific country or having moved to a specific country. And I think it really speaks also to the historical legacies that are particular to certain countries. Uh, if you've been dispossessed of land, what does it mean for belonging? Uh, if you speak a particular language, what does it mean for you feeling connected or not connected? Mm -hmm.